Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and we're back with the pointer. So, we had the West Nouveau Lager that we put together and, and brewed together. That was the last video. Um, I've taken the back off it. So, what you had to do to get it in the fridge or to stop the brewing process after, it was about five or six days with the, the California Lager. Um, you simply, where it's kind of stood up, you take the back off it, this thing, put it in your fridge and it was advised to condition it for two days. I've not done that. I've conditioned it for about 10 days. And the reason for that is a lager is to store. The word lager means to store. So I thought two days storage on a lager, I'm going to give it 10. I'm going to go longer, see if we can improve the beer a little bit. I just didn't quite, perhaps I'm wrong, but I didn't quite trust the two days lagering process or conditioning as, as they called it. I wanted it to go longer. So the next stage, what you do, you turn the switch from carbonated to off and you should hear a hiss. Wow, did you hear that hiss? Right, okay, so we should be ready. We should, should, should be ready to pour our pointer. So let's grab a glass, we'll use our um, Bira Frara Italian lager glass for this. Spin the machine round. We'll drop that for you so you can see. I got another glass, I'm just gonna. Just pour some through. Uh, it's, only, it's only fair on the machine if you just pour a little bit through. Get some through the line as we say. Now then, 45 degrees, here we go then. What's going on here then? Having to like jerk around a bit on the handle. Handle's fully down. Just a dribble of beer coming out. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Ah, it's coming, here it comes. It's taking quite a bit of time to pour this. Come on. It's like there's nothing in you. Right, okay. Taps off. <clears throat> Here's a look at the lager then. Nice and cold, I've just literally got it out the fridge. We've got a one finger white head, hazy looking lager, 4% ABV, Californian common lager. Um, you can see there is little bits and pieces floating around in the glass. Bits of yeast. You can see I've got nice carbonation. Can you see the carbon? Let me get my ugly mug out of the way and then we can. There you go, we should be able to see that carbonation now. Up the side of the glass. Let's go again. It 
Yeah, there you go. It's a nicely carbonated beer. Let's get the um, aroma on this California common lager then. Smells oh, smells like home brew. It, 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 you know, just, just being perfectly honest, it smells... It smells like the stuff you buy down Wilkinson's, the homebrew kits. Floral, a little bit punchy. Slightly funky. Slightly funky. And I think you get that from these kind of the homebrew kits down Wilkinson's. You know where you mix powders and, and stuff in and, and make beer. It's a little bit funky. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's all right. Yeah, I mean, it. it it's. I'm quite impressed with the carbonation. I've managed, and I think that was the lagering. I simply think that was the lagering that did that. I think if I pulled it out after two days, I think, no way. No way I would I would have had any carbonation at all. But I can feel the carbonation in the mouth. That's, that's the most impressive thing about the beer. Hissing and fizzing in the mouth. Um, it, it, it's a nice cold lager. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm in a shirt. I'm in a shirt because last night I went to the pub for the first time in many, many moons because of the current situation. And there was not much decent ale in the pub, so I had a pint of lager. That pint of lager cost me £5.50. And it was pretty decent. It was a premium lager. And I enjoyed it, but I've just made this for literally a fraction, a fraction of the price I've made this beer for. And to be fair, if you're going to use this machine all of the time and buy their packs off them all of the time where you brew with the, the, the bottles of... of concentrate that you pour in and you're happy with that and that's the point if you're happy with that then it's all right it's all right it's not going to get me dancing around the kitchen going stone the crows you know it's never going to do that um it definitely tastes like homebrew it's got that kind of funky homebrew taste to it but I'm standing here with conditioning on my glass, a well-conditioned beer. As I rock the beer back and forth, as we say on the channel, you can see the carbonation chasing the head up the glass. I've produced, in my lifetime, my first ever lager. And that's just by what we did in the last video, cleaning and then pouring the concentrate in, the lager concentrate, add in the yeast, put in the brewing engine on the back and leaving it for five days. It's not really brewing. I didn't really brew this lager. I didn't sit down with a pencil and work out the malts that I needed and the, the yeast that I needed and the water treatment and all the rest of it. But I'm still standing here with a glass of lager in my hand for... Far, far, far cheaper than the £5.50 I paid just last night for a pint of lager in the pub. And I think you need to weigh all of these different things up. You really need to kind of look at it all in a grander scale. If you're happy, there's a lot of people who are drinking this kind of home-brewed style. There's certainly a, a home-brewed taste to it. I imagine the stout is much better because you're going to lose that homebrew kind of taste, I reckon, in the roasted malt. That 
that'll sit in the fridge. That'll sit in the fridge and I'll probably get through that on the weekend. There's football on, there's there's a bit of rugby on. Yeah, I think this. Oh, no, I think we're actually out of rugby season. I'll find something to watch on the television, horse racing or something. But you get my drift. Sit down, enjoy, job done. Cheap lager. So rating on my first ever pint of brewed beer. It's a funny one. It's a real funny one for me because at one at one end of the scale, I want to go on. You know, it's just you know, it's just old brew from, from like Wilkinson's or something. But on the other scale, it was far, far, far cheaper than buying that five pound fifty pint of lager in the pub and going. Oof, you know, that was a bit expensive. So for all of them reasons, I'm going to give this beer a seven out of ten. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Look out for more pointer videos in the future. My kind wife who bought this machine for my birthday also bought me the Stout. And I think I got an IPA as well. So they'll be coming. But I wanted to start off nice and easy with the lager. Yeah. I, I didn't think I'd like it. But I have. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.